How's it going everybody? I can't say too much in this video. I have not gotten the okay from the person that uh, has this case. Um, what you see on the screen right now was my notice to uh, my notice of appeal. Whatever. Anyway, um, well, I'll tell you what I can say. Okay, this person has gone through what three DAs now. Okay, with the motions that uh, this person has filed, they, I, you know, I think personally that they don't know what the hell they're doing. As far as the the main DA knows that hey, this law is solid. We got him trapped. But I don't think he knows how to react. So he's switching DAs here, you know. Um, he's he's trying to, co you know, create confusion. That's what he's trying to do. Because what can you do when there's a uh, law backing up someone and you're standing, what, on thin air? What do you do? Well, you, all, you, all you can do is lie. Lie and try to confuse the other side so they won't, you know, stay on point or, you know, uh finish the case the way they they probably want to it's all he can do so it's funny how uh, we were even told by one DA well I don't understand this I mean all you're doing here is citing law like wow really see like my mentor says they're so used to scamming and bamming people they're not used to pro se litigants coming in there and filing motions and interlocutory appeals you know I mean well, they're not used to that what are they used to pro se litigants that are hoping that the cop doesn't show up that's what they're used to oh that's easy oh officer showed up oh they lost and that's it or if they're, if they're used to people having uh, public pretenders well of course you know they just stay plea bargain okay I mean I, this it's crazy I've seen this DA well these couple DA's sit through court doing nothing as the public defender just hands out plea bargains left and right like hotcakes it's amazing how people will bend over so fast you know what though those people deserve to uh, get what they deserve you know you know I uh, didn't start off knowing as much as I know now and I'm not saying I'm better than anybody but I'll tell you what my first case over there in Glendale I knew something was wrong. I started going to the law library right away. Screw that. I said, hey, my public defender isn't listening to what I'm saying. Hey, my public defender is trying to get me to do a plea bargain after I told her exactly what happened and how they lied. And I had the proof recorded and everything. Oh, no, well, we need a plea bargain. She even got upset when I said, nope, I ain't going to plea bargain. Screw that. Give me my misdemeanor. I want to sue them. Oh, well, I'll be back. <laughs> You know? Oh, I said, no, something's wrong here. Okay, you're fired. And that was that. That was, you know, hey. That's how it goes. If they don't listen, you fire them. Okay? Now, none of this is legal advice. It's just my opinion, so take it as it, as it is. Okay, you want legal advice? Go get an attorney. I'm just some guy behind the camera recording my uh, computer screen. You know? What do I know? But anyway, so hopefully you guys... Fight the good fight, you know, always get, um, uh, if you have a case, misdemeanor, infraction, felony, doesn't matter, always get, go to the court clerk and get a certified copy of your case, okay, because luckily, you know, hey, I practice what I preach, okay, and I've done it, and I've seen people backdate and backlog stuff, like, oh, this was filed back then, oh, no, it wasn't, I got proof right here that there was nothing in the file just a week ago. So how was this filed last month? Hmm. Oh, now we got to start doing an investigation now. See, now you start mudding up the water for them, and they don't like that. See, they want they, they want somebody that's going to let them uh, rape them nice and easy, nice and smooth, you know, no problems. Oh, don't scream, no. You know, don't struggle. Just take it, just take it. You know, that's our job, just to give it to you. Now, if you struggle and scream, now you're going to make it harder, and oh, you know, we might not even be able to rape you, so uh, that's no fun anymore. You know, that's how it goes. That's exactly how it goes. So the more you start causing problems for them, the more you start filing criminal complaints, if you file any, if you catch them breaking laws, the more you start, um, let me see, going after uh, court clerks because they're not letting you see your case file, the more you find out uh, the judge is tampering with public records. I mean, hey, you start mudding up the wire for them, man, they're going to say, get rid of this guy or get rid of this girl, man, because they're going to screw us over they're going to dirty up our, you know, corporate name here. Yeah. 
it's the court <laughs> so um it's, it's crazy though it's crazy this this case i i've never seen you know this this da man i tell you these couple da's they they're uh I'm learning a lot from these guys, to be honest with you. See, the more they screw you, the more you learn. Because they can only screw you once, unless you're stupid. They're going to screw you two, three times, four times, as many times as you let them. But if you're smart and you catch on quick, hey, you screwed me once. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lesson learned. Okay? Uh, before you know it, they're going to run out of tricks. And you're going to know all their tricks, and then guess what? Now it's your turn. Come right back at them. And they'll dodge, you know pretty much half of your stuff they'll dodge it without even trying because this is what they do every day all day okay this is their job this is what they do for a living is cheat people lie to people confuse people so don't get mad at yourself when you know you find out man you know what I should have said this or I should have no, who cares the point is that you're doing what you can okay now now, at the same time, I suggest prepare the hell out of whatever you need to prepare for because if you don't, if you're not ready for this war, because it's war, you know, and I really am seeing it, it is war, uh, you're going to, you're going to lose, you know, there's no point, you're just going to piss them off and they're going to just give you the maximum time or whatever you got to do or pay, then you're screwing yourself, I mean, if you're not going to go all the way, don't do it, don't even start, just bend over and pay them, it's okay. You know, it's better if you pay them whatever they say, okay, because you're a good slave. Well, you only pay this much. Then if you start fighting and say, no, 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 I'm sorry, you know what, uh, I'd rather be a good slave because it's too much work. It takes too much time. It's too much reading. You know, I'm, I'm scared when I'm in front of the judge or I, I, I don't want to object or whatever the case may be, you know. They're going to get pissed. Oh, well, I'm going to pay maximum because you're a bad slave. I'm going to put you in your place. See, but if you are a person that knows their rights a person that says hey the role of government their function is to do this not that hey your rules say you can only do this not that hey it says here by law that the court clerk has to have the public uh, records at all times not the judge oh well then you start mudding up the waters for them and start filing criminal complaints you start filing you know um, interlocutory appeals Motions to dismiss, one after another, you can file as many motions to dismiss as you want, as long as you keep finding them uh, doing more uh, things that they're not supposed to be doing. It's okay. People will tell you you can't do that, but I'm pretty sure that's an attorney telling you that, or somebody who works for the court telling you that, or a cop telling you that. Because, no, 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 please, don't find out. Don't find out it's just a con game, because then you're going to go tell the whole world. And then we're screwed because, our, our, you know, we make money off of this. We live off of this. You see, that's how it works. It's a racketeering scheme. It really is. Once you start reading law and learning what the rules are, finding out what cops can or can't do, well, you say, well, that's void ab initio because from the beginning, they can't do that. See? Then it goes to the court. Oh, the court's going to try to, you know, cover up for the cop. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Now you find the judge doing things he shouldn't be doing or she shouldn't be doing. Okay, well now you got the DA at the same time coming after you as well. Oh, now they're doing something not supposed to. Then all at the end, the court clerk right there is not even giving you access to the court files. I'm, I'm telling you, they're going to try to trip you up as much as you can, especially if you start talking about law. Because they have nothing to back them up. They'll say, whatever you file, they'll say, oh, it's frivolous. Oh, no. Oh, it's ludicrous. Oh, we don't know what this is. Oh, Because what, what, what can they do? That's all they can do. And remember, in law, there's a saying that if they don't rebut an assumption or a presumption, they have acquiesced. So they can call it whatever they want, but as long as they don't say it's not true, it's too late, buddy. You just defaulted. Thank you for agreeing, consenting, for not objecting, for trying to make me believe that what I'm saying is incorrect or wrong. Because they'll do that. And I've, I've seen it time and time again. <laughs> in the end, though, see, in my cases, I've been winning. So in the end, I'm, I, I'm sure I'm doing something right here. Now, some call it luck. Okay. But uh, 
So that cop in Glendale told me that I was getting lucky and only uh, winning because cops weren't showing up. But if I got failures to appear, I could never beat them. Well, when I'm done beating my 10 I got over there in Glendale just for you, I'm going to put it on YouTube. And you can eat your words.